Hi everybody. Today we're going to make a roast in a crock pot. It's a very simple, easy roast, and I thought you'd enjoy it. So, I got my crock pot here. I can't really get it into the picture. I don't know why. Let me try it. There it is right there. I'll show it when it's time. But into that roast, into a, a container that's going to hold more than two cups of water, this right here, I'm going to add, let me get this right here, a packet of Zesty Italian Dry Good Seasons, a packet of brown gravy mix, and a packet of ranch dressing. And I'm going to put all three of these together into this large measurer. So I'm going to pour those in. On a day that you're busy, which a lot of people are these days, you just want to throw this together. Very simple to do. This is the brown gravy mix here. And here's the zesty Italian mix. Now I've already got my crock pot turned on to high and uh, just heating it up in advance. And I bought this uh, three pound roast because it was on sale. So this is a bottom round. I guess, you know, you could use any type of roast you want to, but this is a bottom round. Chuck roast would be good. And I'm going to put it in my crock pot. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the crock pot. I think I'm going to put it fat side. No, I think I'll put the fat side up. All right, it's in the crock pot. Sorry you can't see that. I just don't have enough room. And into these uh, three packages I put in there, the Hidden Valley Ranch and the uh, Zesty Italian and the brown gravy mix, I'm going to add two cups of water. I'm going to turn this around. Two cups of warm water. This is actually hot. I mean, you know, you might as well give it a head start. If you put cold water in, then it doesn't really start to cook until the cold water gets hot. So I'm just giving it a head start here. I'm going to stir it up. Oh, it smells so good. Get it all stirred up really good. And then all you do is pour it over that roast. Close the lid. And cook it for three hours on high. I'm sorry, four hours on high and eight hours on low. So I'm starting this off on high and because I'm going to be home all day, I may turn it down to low later just because I can. I'm not sure, you know, how tender it would be cooked on high. We'll see. All right, I'm going to try to get this over to the crock pot. Let's see. My crock pot won't come any closer, so I've got to move the camera to the crock pot. And that's about as close as I'm going to get. Can you guys see that? You just pour this liquid over the roast. And put the lid on. Let me get this little bit of these little shards of goodness out of here. Put the lid on. Let it cook four hours on high or eight hours on low. Then it's done. Now, a little bit later into this, I'm going to add some carrots and potatoes, but not right now. So, in four hours, I'll bring you back. And we'll see what it looks like. I'll leave it on high for four hours. And I'll bring you back in a little bit. All right, we're back. And I have to say this roast weighed 
three and a quarter pounds and it cooked five and a half hours on high. So it uh, took longer than the recipe said, but it is just tender and looks wonderful. Can you see that? And here's my carrots and my potatoes and it made a nice little gravy. Let's see, I'm going to get you a picture of the gravy. I had to, you know, season it up a little bit. I, I didn't think it was tasty enough. I added some salt and pepper. I also added an onion while this was cooking because I like onions. And, um, and I felt like it needed it. So the gravy, to the gravy, all I add, would, added was salt and pepper. And I got my carrots and potatoes here. And if you'll wait just a second, I'll take a bite and let you know how it is. Now we're not going to be, it's not going to, not going to wonder about the potatoes and the carrots, so I'm just going to get into this meat here and give you an idea of what it tastes like. And get some of this gravy. I thickened the gravy up a little bit because I like my gravy thicker than what this turned out to be, but you don't have to. All right, let's see here. Give it a taste. Mmm, it's very good. I think if you try it that you'll you'll enjoy it. And, and it's a meal you don't have to worry about. I wouldn't go with four hours though. Go with five and a half for a three pound roast for it to be tender. Well, I hope you make this and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave me a comment and a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.